Good morning, YouTube. I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Nah, I just have big glutes. So I have a question. Is stretching good for you or bad for you? I think it depends on how you do it. And so today I'm gonna show you my daily stretching, breathing, moving, circulating, strengthening, bioenergetic routine that I do to get started with the day. So as we go about my routine, I'm gonna show you what I do, why I do it, and we'll just be chatting it up along the way. What do you say? Let's go. Ave Maria Grazia plena Dominus Tecum Benedicta tu mulieribus et Benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. So the first thing I do when I get here in the morning is I sit in that chair, drink some coffee, and I read some books. But then I get started with my meditation, prayer, and bioenergetics all at once by kneeling down here and praying my rosary. Catholics believe that it's a very good prayer to do, but at the same time, I'm also on my knees so I'm stretching down below, sitting up tall, I got good, good posture. And then the chanting of the prayers that are associated with the rosary are also advantageous to breathing, a strong inhale and exhale. So it sort of becomes a prayer, but also an exercise. And in many traditions, prayer is also very physical. That's why getting down on the knees, getting down, putting your head on the ground, standing up, genuflecting, chanting, these are all physical ways to unite with God. And if you're a Pentecostal or a charismatic, it looks like this. Holy Spirit got me! Which is not too different than bioenergetics, so I kind of do the same thing too. Holy Spirit! Cool. So we're gonna stretch, we're gonna exercise in a way that makes room for the Holy Spirit. So once I get finished with my kneeling, I get up here and I do a split stretch. Right. And it's on my desk. These are my house shoes. So I'm stretching the hip flexor, the psoas. I'm stretching a lot of the muscles that are in my hip here when I do this. What I'm doing is breathing. So the stretch right away goes from like a fight against yourself. Like a lot of people stretch and it's like, ah, like they look like they're in pain. When I stretch, I make an effort to relax, but I want to relax everything else that's associated with a neurotic holding pattern. So if you relax everything else, right, like relax my brow, relax my hands, and then I go into the stretch and then I breathe, I actually already begin feeling energetic release. But just by doing that one breath, frequency, shaking, leaves the body. So I'm going to come up on my back toe a little bit here. It's going to make room for me to drop my knee. I like to reach this hand high. I like to take this hand and hold down below. One last tip here. I'm not just stretching, but I'm also strengthening because I want this to be a useful new range of motion. So I normally do 10 breaths on one side, 10 breaths on the other side. Oof. And it's normally on the exhale where you'll get that energetic release. The shaking will even come up through your breath. The next thing I feel like doing usually is a bit of a twist. Cross the leg and reach. As you'll notice that like with most stretch routines, if you're doing them right, you'll go from an extension into something sort of a flexion. Oh, I can flex my quad and that's gonna help open up the back a little bit there. Ooh. Wherever something's been stretched, it like now has new range of motion. Feels pleasurable. <laughs> Feels good. I gotta go to my garage because I do side bends, but I use a Roman chair. So now what I'm gonna do is open up the lateral sides of my legs, my hips, so the IT band. I feel it all the way down into my peroneals. And you'll notice that the way I do this and all of my stretches is it like it's full body. So I integrate the lats and the neck and a whole bunch of other stuff. Got this at the height of my hip, flex to the side. I can take this and I can reach over the top. And sometimes I work to push the leg a little straighter by pointing the toe and then reaching this hand out. Oh, just come down this way. Mm, mm. This foot, I point the toe. That way I can get the lateral portion of even the foot as far down as I can get. So I got this yoga mat on top of my table and I just hang out right here. I can lean in, 
drop my hips a little bit lower while extending up. Pull myself down. I'll even pull this foot up right here. That way I'm getting it all through the foot, side of the lower leg, the peroneals. Press that down and then relax it. So I hold for 10 breaths. Oh, this side's a little bit tighter. Tore my Achilles tendon on this leg. So this one took weight when I was walking. Oh, I took a beating. And so from there, after getting my legs and my hips stretched out, I start working the front of my body with different variations of the bow. Leaning back here, elbows pinched, open my mouth just slightly and just breathing into the belly. Vibrating in your body is not necessary. Don't feel like you have to be shaking the way I shake. It's just the way my body is. And if you try to go get that, you're gonna psych yourself out. So just be re relaxed and present with what is. But the next bow that I do, which is sort of an intense stretch on the front part of the body, especially the respiratory muscles, is here. Hands over the head. This area is a little more relaxed. Also, I can do sort of a shake that I was doing for my lower body. Up here, because it holds so high, you can do one of these. Oh, so a good bounce for the upper body is just a little bit more aggressive because the arms are heavy and it can pull your shoulders down. It's circles are always called for. You can go slow, you can go fast, you can go circles, or you could do Stevie Wonder. I just call to say how much I care. Is that Stevie Wonder? I don't know. I just call. Even if sometimes you feel like you want to let some sound out, that's a good time to do it also, because now you're opened up in your breathing tubes. Ho, 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 ho. Next, I get down onto the floor. I do my floor routine. I often begin my floor routine with adductors. Boom, get the knees here. And then just rotating the pelvis. Oh, it's like a super slow twerk. Ooh, pull it under. Stick it out. Under. I'll rotate it in there to get the fibers, the anterior fibers. And then when I'm doing this, I'm squeezing the glutes, pulling the hamstrings under, drawing the belly button in using my pelvic floor. Oh! I can also do it from here. I got all kinds of popping and cracking happening in my hip bones. I'm trying to keep the chest up, from side to side, locking the lower abdominals and the pelvic floor in. Then some floor twists. <laughs> and then the final thing I do is probably the most important thing. Two minutes of planks on the daily. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my attempt at vlogging. I hope that it offers you educational, inspirational, and fun stuff to watch. Let me know by commenting down below. Like this video, share it. I'm trying to build up, yo my body, and my YouTube channel. So thank you for sticking around. I'll see you next time. Done.